IBF belongs to Pacquiao. Southpaw, as you can see. And the WBO title belongs to Sanchez. There's the record. A lot of knockouts for Pacquiao as he goes right to work as he's known to do. He keeps coming good hard with left hand of the body. And Sanchez just backs out and look at this shot by Pacquiao. Nice body work right there. Coming straight. You see less movement from Pacquiao than you do from Sanchez. Good hard left hand straight into the body. He landed a body shot early in this round was his best punch. There's Sanchez trying to unload. Working behind conversations and Pacquiao is looking a little bit confused. He likes to throw a lunging straight left when he can. He'll come straight at you, no doubt about it. Crowd reacting with every punch. But not much damage so far. Final seconds, round one. These two have come to work tonight. And a punch right at the end, both punches. Look at the look on the face of Manny Merciless Pacquiao. For Manny Pacquiao, as we continue round two of schedule 12, unfortunate clash of heads. It may have changed the strategy quite a bit for Pacquiao now because this is going to be a war of attrition with a cut opening up over his eyes. He got the worst of that clash of heads. Now he gets a little more busy. Now Pacquiao's covering up a bit and countering. Now he backs Sanchez up. Stop! Stop! A lot of blood spewing out of that eyebrow on the right side. Hard to see. It's going to be difficult to see so he could be vulnerable to the left hand from Sanchez. Sanchez trying to finish this thing off if he can. We're in the second round scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao, the world champion of the IBF, is bleeding quite a bit from that headbutt he suffered in the second round. There's some Sanchez going to work here. Sanchez picked up the pace after the headbutt, seeing that Pacquiao was having trouble seeing out of that right eye. Sanchez working behind the jab. It's hard to tell. Pacquiao is looking for some kind of big shot because he's a bit of trouble with the blood streaming into his eye. Can't see very well. You see him flicking the blood away with his right glove. Tries an uppercut. But the blood is really pouring out of that huge gaping gash over his right eye, just below the eyebrow, that soft tissue area over the eye. They'll be monitoring that the entire what? night. This is Pacquiao's 12th title fight, first defense. He's won his last seven by stoppage. There's a good, good straight right followed by a left. Below the belt line. And Pacquiao goes back to work Daddy. later because he's out. a very Kelly. aggressive fighter. Those of you who have not seen him before, this is only the second. Usually not a factor in the lower weight classes, though. They're always in pretty good shape. Pacquiao trying to unload now. Marty Dinkins stepping in. A couple of minutes of his five minutes. He's back out there. Manny Pacquiao is bleeding, and he's got a hurt leg, and he's out throwing shots. And Sanchez is not going to let him do it. He's going to tie him up. If Pacquiao can find the range, he may be beaten and bloodied, but he's definitely got enough punch. Sanchez flicking the jab, throwing a wild left. Pacquiao, now it's getting busy inside. Pacquiao wants to go. He wants it to go. Let's go. Big punches on the rope for Manny Pacquiao. Sanchez fighting his way out of there. Sanchez coming back. Here's the last 20 seconds. That was kind of a shove there when Pacquiao went down a little bit. It was not a punch. He was not affected, but he got him riled up. He's riled up anyway, and here we go. Pacquiao stepping inside, trying to work on the inside. Sanchez taking some punches there, and at the end of this, watch Sanchez come back. There he is, back out with the left, flicking the left jab, and then throwing the punches downstairs. Sanchez is dangerously close on a lot of occasions to landing another low blow. Here's the last 20 seconds. That was kind of a shove there when Pacquiao went down a little bit. It was not a punch. He was not affected, but he got him riled up. He's riled up anyway, and here we go. Pacquiao stepping inside. It's a junior featherweight action. Hard shot over the top from Sanchez. Then he works down on the belt. Pacquiao stepping back out of it, and Sanchez goes back to work, backing Pacquiao up a little bit on the ropes. Pacquiao looking for some hard shots inside. 
But both those shots missed the mark. Good combinations for Pacquiao. Sanchez okay, will hold. Stop, stop. You can bet all of the Philippines that are watching the fight are with their man tonight. He is a huge national hero. Now he goes to work in the corner. Crowd reacts, but not a lot of damage done there. Manny breaks him up once again. Like I said, we've had a little bit of everything. Been a lot of wrestling, a lot of clutching and grabbing, and then Manny is not a lot of secret to what he's trying to do. He wants to throw big punches. And he can take big punches. Sanchez standing right there, working combinations, but now we see blood on the left eye of Sanchez pouring down. Change. This is a, you know, you can go one way or the other in that round. Uh, they were both throwing and you shouldn't retaliate back there. Just who do you like? <laughs> Man, he's just landed one right on the nose right there. And here comes the end. Both fighters continue to throw, but the story in round five has been the blood coming from the left eye of Manny, of, of Agapito Sanchez. Manny Pacquiao has been bleeding since the second round. Again, Sanchez is not back down at one bit. Pacquiao continues to try to throw combination. Tries a big uppercut that misses by about a foot. You have to see the young man from the Philippines trying to stop, chip away stop, and continue stop. to throw shots. Right. You see the blood pouring out of his eye. But he can see clearly, so he's in good shape from that standpoint. Time, time, time. Go your corner. Once again, Marty wants to talk to these fighters. Another clash of heads. Gonna have the doctor look at it. We are after the fourth round. So we could be going to the cards if the doctor wants to stop this fight. That is an ugly cut. So that's it. And he's up on the ropes right now, but here's the end of the fight when he clashed once again. And that last little clash right there, Marty Dinkins said, let's take a look at this thing. And the, there's only so much you can do as it wears along.